Welcome to the Strange Sky Project. I first want to just say thank you so much for all the support and all the comments that I got welcoming me to be back. Hopefully I wasn't gone too long, but you know what? I am back and I got so much in store for everybody. So first off, I just want to say thank you. This strange footage comes courtesy of my security camera at my home. As you notice, the three lights in the middle that we're focusing on, first of all, they're different than the normal light that you can see spotlighting my yard right there at the bottom. Not only are these lights self-contained and only illuminating their direct structure and not illuminating any of the environment around them, we can see clear conscious movement in these lights. They're passing around the light like a baseball. Or to put it more strangely, one light is flying from one on the left side and doing a maneuver and flying into the light on the right side. What is going on here? These lights are specialized and specific in their movement. They have a behavior that shows motivation and seemingly conscious decision making. That light comes up from the bottom and swoops around as if it decides to go back up and towards the other light. Is this the evidence that forces us to re-examine what it means to be animate, to be alive, to be a living entity in this world? What's even more unbelievable than the highly specialized nature that these lights embody? That's the distortion that's created by these lights. As you can clearly see, we have a distortion around each light. It distorts the frequency that's presented to the camera. It distorts the field that surrounds these lights. Yes, the very ether that surrounds them in this reality. It's the space that we all exist in. That fabric is being distorted by a frequency presented by these lights. Each light is emitting its own personal individualized frequency and that frequency changes over time. As we can clearly see here, as time moves forward, each light is changing that structured emittance. It's changing that distortion in its field. Incredible, I think. The same way that people can perceive auras around people, their energy field, but we can see the energy field around these lights. Another characteristic that shows that these lights are just as animate as we are. What these lights are and what they're doing is just as much a mystery to me as anybody else. I have no idea. I know it's strange though, and I know it's another piece in the grand puzzle of our existence. What's going on here in this reality, in our 3D reality that we all perceive every day? It's being infiltrated by something from somewhere else. What we see here is not matching up with what we've been told. This is something weird and something super strange and we gotta figure this out. Personally, I think these lights are spiritual in nature. I think these are spiritual entities that I've been able to capture coming over from their side into ours. That's just my opinion though, and so please take it with a grain of salt. I just know what I've experienced and what I've seen. And when I evaluate the totality of information out there, this really stands out as being something strange and unique and peculiar and worthy of, I think, everyone's attention. We may never know what exactly these things are and what exactly their purpose is. But I think if we can come to a collective understanding that something is off and something is strange and something is happening here, then we're one step closer to unraveling the mystery that we all exist in. This is a strange world out here and I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for coming on this journey with me. I really do have so many weird, wonderful, and strange things left to share with you guys. And now that my passion is renewed and my inner spark has been relit, I plan on bringing you guys some of the best, most strangest footage you've ever seen. Stick with me and I got you. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.